What's up everybody, Alex Comstock here with another Whitetail DNA video. And on today's vlog, we're gonna be doing a review of the Lacrosse Alpha Burley Pro boots. Uh, before I jump into today's review though, I just wanna take a quick second to please ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm really trying to help build this channel, bring you a lot of content. A lot more content is definitely planned and coming for 2020. So if you could, and hit the subscribe button, the bell to get notifications. Maybe even like this video if you do. Um, I'd really appreciate that. But with that said, let's get into today's video. So like I said, we're gonna be reviewing the Lacrosse Alpha Burley Pro boots. I've got the uninsulated and the 800 gram. Um, actually, this would be the 800 gram. This is the uninsulated. Not that it makes a huge difference. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop one of these. The first thing that I wanna to touch on is just a couple things that I don't really particularly care for when it comes to the boot. Uh, the first being that, obviously, as you can see, I got these in the sick elevated two camo. Uh, so it matches all my camo. Yeah, you don't have to have that. It's something I like to do. Um, but regardless, whatever your camo is, I don't know if it's just with this pattern, but as you can see here, it's already wearing pretty bad. It's pretty much just black around the toe. Um, now, I've put a lot of miles on these boots. The uninsulated ones are the boots that I'm wearing all year except for the late season hunt. So that's why you can see with my 800 grams, which I'm only wearing for my usually my cold hunts, you know, middle-ish to end of November and on. Um, it's not worn as bad but still definitely worn around the toe region. Um, so definitely not an end of the world thing. I mean, you don't have to have the camo on your boots, but usually when you buy a pair of boots, you get the camo that you want and you want it to stay. So that's kind of a, that's kind of a negative in my book. Um, the other thing I would say is the only thing I really don't understand about these boots completely, and maybe someone out there does, or maybe someone from lacrosse could tell me, I'm not sure, but it's a rubber boot. Um, you know, so it's scent free, it even says right here, scent free. Um, but at the top here, you've got this neoprene. And I don't know if that's to help fold the boot down, if it's warm out or whatnot. But, you know, this, I've had stains in my neoprene. I've, you know, kind of hold scent, I feel like. I could be wrong, but having a whole rubber boot with neoprene at the top, I just kind of wonder about that. Um, you know, I've had, I don't think it's on either of these, no. On my, my other 800 gram, I believe, I poked a, poked a good hole right through here. Actually, on this one, I got a little hole right, kind of right here. If you're trying to cross water where it's all the way tippy top of your boot, but you got a hole in your neoprene over here, I mean, that's kind of not serving the purpose, right? And then the last thing that I want to talk about with these boots when it comes to things that I don't like is that they don't breathe the best. Now, you can kind of look at this in a multitude of ways and saying that they're really warm which I'll get into that later. I've had some boots that breathe a little bit better. And these, if I get warm at all, my feet start to sweat really bad in these. Um, and therefore, so I'm always kind of having an extra pair of socks with me in case I need to change them. And once my, my feet do sweat, these boots stay w really wet. Like it's hard for them to dry out. So I've constantly got them on my foot dryer. And I know that's kind of an issue with a lot of rubber boots, but these seem to be worse than others. So take it for what you will. But now we're gonna jump into the things that I really like about these boots because overall, I definitely would re recommend these boots. Um, a thing that I really like is the adjustable calf right here. And this can serve for a couple of different purposes. First of all, if you've got really big calves, you can just have it loose. Um, if you've got small calves, like me, you can take and tighten it and it's very comfortable. And then it's got a little clip here so that way your strap's not kind of flapping everywhere. You can put it like that. Um, and another reason I really like this adjustable calf is because like in the summertime, if I'm wearing this, go and check in trail cameras or whatever, or early season hunts, by having this open, since I have smaller calves, it kind of lets more air in there um, and kind of helps stay cool a little bit. And then, on the, and then on the flip side, in late season, if I'm wearing the 800 grams, I can tighten it and it'll help keep the warmth in. Um, so that's, I really like the adjustable calf. Another thing that I really like about these boots is just their durability. I've had the uninsulated and the 800 grams now for two full seasons, um, so two calendar years, and I've put, like I said earlier, a ton of miles on them, um, especially these uninsulated ones. I do a lot of walking in these, and so far, like it shows, other than the, the paint wearing off or the primer or whatever you wanna call it, 
it's shown hardly any wear or tear. I've had boots in the past where I've actually worn holes like kind of all around the top, um, where I've actually even worn holes on the inside to the sole the, or to the back of the boot from wearing them so often. But these thus far have really held up well and I've been really impressed with them. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about is the traction. Um, you can kind of see here, but these boots actually get really good traction. Um, where I live up here in Northern Minnesota, I'm do going up and down a lot of hilly terrain. And actually where I hunt a lot out in North Dakota, believe it or not, I go up and down some hilly terrain. And so I'm always going uphill, downhill. These boots do a really good job. I'm actually really impressed because rubber boots generally are not gonna have the best traction in the world, but these do a pretty good job. Obviously a couple, a couple small things. They're really, they're waterproof, which obviously they should be. They're getting a rubber boot. Um, I'd say they're true to size. I wear size 10s for most of my stuff. These are a size 10. They fit me well. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much everything that I have with these boots. Hopefully this review helps. I know it's not super in depth, but that's kind of how I like to do my reviews, right? I like to do it from a hunting perspective, not a technical perspective. Um, I don't like to go through the exact specs on what they weigh, the exact dimensions. I don't know, these boots, I like them. They, they fit well, they're very comfortable. Um, which is big um, and you know they get the job done so I think the MSRP is about 170 180 bucks I would recommend them um, the uninsulated ones and the 800 grams you know I will say for the 800 grams um, they do keep me pretty warm I wear these for my all my late season hunting even down to negative you know deep into the negatives I've worn these and Sure, they don't keep me completely warm forever, but when you're hunting in negative 20, nothing is. Um, at least not that I know of. Uh, but they do a good job. They really keep me warm. I really enjoy these boots. Overall, I'd highly recommend these Lacrosse Alpha Burley Pro boots. They do a great job. Um, and if you're a whitetail hunter, especially looking for for a good pair of boots, uh, I'd recommend recommend these in the 800 grams or the uninsulated versions. So um, that's all I got for you guys today. Like I said earlier, if you enjoyed, please hit the subscribe button, like, hit notifications. I got a lot more content coming for you, including a lot of shed hunting stuff coming up here. So I appreciate you watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next video.